All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about what is required for the Tableau project. What exactly you guys have to do in this project and what are the requirements, what I'm expecting from all of you. To see what is the project, you have to go to your course website and then click Tableau project. In, in this, under this link, you can see there are different files. Um, the first file is the project description file. The second one is the data set you're going to use to perform the job required to complete the pro project. Uh, I'm making this video, so I will put this video up here. You will see the video here uh, and you can use it. So this is a sample dashboard the aim of the project is to create something like this using Tableau. So this is a dashboard created using Tableau. You can mimic the project. You can um, do exactly like this. You can copy this. You can make everything exactly look like this. The data set given is exactly the same thing used in this dashboard. So you must try to do as much as you can to mimic this dashboard. And these are the references, the people who made this dashboard, the data set I took from. So I've put up the references because this is not my data set and this is not my dashboard, but this dashboard can be made by using this data set. You can also read more about Tableau dashboard and how they are uh, people are using it du during this pandemic. Once you have completed your Tableau project, once you have completed everything uh, I'm asking for, you can submit your work in this folder. So let's go over um, the description, project description. So what exactly I'm looking for the details. So this is the document um, you guys can download from this link. So. I already have the download document. So this is um, this project has totaled 100 points, and this will has a weight of 10% of the final grade. So um, if you remember in the syllabus, we have um, we have allocated 10% for the project. You have almost 25% for the midterm, 25% for the um, final exam. 10% for this, um, 10 uh, to 15, 10 to 15 um, person for Excel and access work, the quizzes, and 5% for being attendance and everything, but that's additional. So that's above 100%. So the everything combines up to 100%. So this will be, this will be counted as 10% of the final grade. And what exactly you have to do is in this project, you have to create visualizations on the current global pandemic of COVID-19 by using the Tableau software. Data set you have to use is, you will be using the COVID-19 case.csv file. So this is the data set. You have to download this data set, import it into Tableau and try to answer everything listed here. So what I'm looking for, what I need you to do, what I'm looking for in your, in your project. It's very open-ended project. You can complete all these things listed here and you can do more stuff. You can add more data also. You can also show your skills. So this is the minimum. This is the minimum you should do. For example, I'm asking you to create graphs, tables, and filters on this data set and express the story. Tell me the story, what you are looking for. You can mimic this dashboard. You can try to mimic exactly this dashboard, and this is quite possible. There is, um, this is quite kind of a fancy work. Actually, we call it in terms of data analytics or data science, this is a fancy work but this is very much doable. Most of the things here are very, very much doable and you can mimic it. 
you may not be able to make it exactly look like this, but you can still convey a lot of things in a similar way like this person has conveyed and you can mimic the work. So I'm looking for mainly progression of cases. So if I go here and put up this thing here, I have two screens here. Um, what I'm looking for, my first deliverable or I'm asking for is progression of cases over time all over the world as well as specific countries such as USA, China, Italy. So they have done the same thing in this. A graph should look like this. These are the cases. These are the confirmed cases and how they have been, um, they are going over time. So the axis, they have actually removed the axis from here. And this can be done in Tableau. You can actually hide the axis, but you can still put the graph. So this dashboard is coming from one of the workbook or slides, which has this graph. And um, the, these are the cases, and it is showing the progression of the cases over time. You can do the same thing using the data set. Similarly, you, you can do the progression of deaths over time. So this graph is the progression of deaths over time. This can be done pretty easy, pretty straightforward step. And I will actually go over in more detail later, but right now I want you to do it and try to do your best and come up with questions. If you have any question, you can always ask me how to do this or that in Tableau. I would be happy to explain you, but there are also so many excellent videos online. So if you go to YouTube, there are so many good videos. If you're stuck at one place, for example, you don't know how to um, take this show this kind of a view over a map you can actually show it how can reduce the size of the bar so these are actually bars but their size has been customized their size has been reduced you can just google you can say you can go to youtube say tableau reduce bar size it will show you the video to do that to do that job or you can google um uh, you can go to youtube and type hide access in tableau or type Tableau hide access. It will show you how to hide the access. X access or Y access, you can actually hide it. We will go over more on all of this and we can, we can actually talk more about it. You can also calculate mortality rate per country because you have confirmed cases and you have deaths. So you can, you can take um, percentage for over time and um, for at least for one country, just for US. And you can also do over time, you can also do per country over US, or you can, you can do as you like. You can do for each state, you can do different things. This data has been, um, the data file I have given here was last updated on April 4th. Today is April 5th. And I think right now this data is also using April 4th. So this is interactive. This gets updated every time, every day. But this one um, gets updated. Like I'm not going to put a new file here. I don't think so. But if you want to download a new file, there is a source. You can actually search this and get to the source and you can actually use a newer file. Like before submitting this project, like if by the end of April, you want to submit your project, you can complete everything and just change the source file, this will be updated and your data will be updated and you will get the new cases and new deaths and everything. All right, so this is pretty cool actually. If you, you know what you can do in Tableau, you can actually show it to your friends. You can show it, look, I have made this data set. Um, I'm using US data set and I can actually see how the progression is going on. Like for example, I was using the same data set. I also created a few things. Um, what I did, I was, um, this is the same data set I imported into Tableau. I put the days over here and I put the sum of differences. So there are different columns in this de data set. One is uh, there's cases and differences. So let me bring in cases. 
So once I bring in the cases, it goes like this. So cases are increasing, they should never be decreased. So these are cumulative cases. So they are cumulative by each day. I just wanna show you one more thing. So this is this is cumulative. Yeah, this is this is a good fit. So the last thing, last time I have it is on 4th of April. And when I was studying like how the cases are accumulating, I wanted to um, make it much more deeper or I want to study because these are just very, um, very raw. I, I cannot really, I can see there is a, there is a clear, huge increase, quick increase, like was, it was a little bit flat, 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 but it goes quickly up, which is, which is pretty crazy. So I can, I can bring in um, a filter. So I, I, I dropped a filter here and I'm going to use um, filter from starting from zero and I can drag it. So I'm, I dropped a filter here and I'm changing the settings. I put the filter and then I, I will do show filter. So this is exactly the same filter what these people are using in here. So let's do, um, and this, yeah. So they actually used a filter of um, days. I'm putting a filter of cases because I'm trying to see here, um, how does the cases are actually jumping? So, so if you see all these, all, all these days, the cases are pretty much flat and then they actually jump. How about if I bring another filter, if I leave all of this and bring another date filter, sorry. So I bring in date filter. All right, so let me show this filter. So this, this filter is actually exactly what they have it here in their, so they're starting their filter on 1st January. So I also have a filter starting on 1st January and ending at April 4th. It's a similar kind of filter. We can always customize it, make it look different. There are different settings we can do it from here actually from here and change it. So let's see if, if I customize it, uh, how does it look like? So I'm just customizing it. I can just see how, how does the progression is increasing over time. It's a very study and these, this jumps, this jumps. If you can see the jumps are becoming bigger and bigger over time. Initially the jumps are smaller, so there's a flatter line, but then there's a bigger jump and these jumps are becoming huge. So these jumps are becoming huge. So you can, you can do all this stuff. You can do even a lot of more stuff and everything in this, um, in this dashboard can be actually done using the data set I have provided here. So try to mimic this dashboard. Going back to our instructions, <clears throat> you should, you can also calculate mortality rate per country. You can calculate mortality rate over time. You can also try to find anything else using the data set. The data set also has US states and you can see that how US states can be, can have how they progressed over time. You can also bring in more data from outside. You can bring in social distancing data. So when I was searching different data sets, I also found some data on social distan distancing. So you can bring in that data, match it with the state and the date. So you have to join it 
join the data set by, if it's just a US data set, you can do a match or a join um, state and by date and then create a join and then analyze how does the social distancing uh, regulations and rules impact the cases is really effective or not. That would be something interesting to study. A final, final product. So once you have done all of these things, so the, all of them will come on one worksheet. You can combine all of this into a single dashboard. And that dashboard, you can put your filters, you can put pages on that dashboard, something similar to this one. And you can, or you, you must, you should include your name in the header of the dashboard slide. So for example, if this is your dashboard, the final dashboard, you should put your name somewhere here. You should put, you should have your own final dashboard. You can have your own color screen. You don't need to put this picture. You don't need to exactly put this name. You can say COVID-19 and your name. You can bring in the date. You can put generally like they have done. You can do this. Um, you don't need to put data and instructions in a question mark link. No, you don't need to do this, but um, you can put a banner, a heading and your name. So you must include your name in the header. You can just put your name also, I'm fine with it. I want to see this work and I want to see your name at the top. So once you have done all of this, I want you to create a PDF of all the work of the worksheet of, of the Tableau and submit to Blackboard folder. We haven't touched this, but it's very easy to create PDF from here. You can just go to file and you can say print to PDF. So this will, this will ask you entire workbook or just the active sheet. You should select entire workbook. So if you have five workbooks, uh, five sheets and a dashboard, it will include all of them in one PDF file that you can submit. You should also submit your project file. For example, this is my project file. You can save it as in your folder and this will be saved as a TWB file extension. So the extension of the file will be TWB. So you should put your name here, your last name, and you should submit it to this folder. So you will be submitting two things. One, a PDF document, including all the worksheet and the dashboard. Second, you will be submitting the source file of the Tableau project with your last name as the file name. So it will be a TWB file. You will drop these two things in the folder. That's it. So if you have any questions, you can ask me. I will also um, make another video discussing about the data set and what exactly you can do with it, how you can play with the data. So keep an eye for another video. But I want you to be creative. I want you to take out your skills, show your skills. Uh, I want you to learn Tableau mainly. I want you to um, prove that you know how to use Tableau. You understand the basics of Tableau software. You understand that you can share this to someone proudly. You can show that you have some data skills. So that is my, my real point for all of this. And I think Tableau has been proved very significant, very important in all of this, because this is not the only, only dashboard. People have made really interesting, beautiful dashboards and everyone is sharing. Uh, everyone in the news agencies, um, in news business and researchers, uh, epidemiologist, they all have, they all are working together using Tableau or similar kind of tools uh, to prove their point, to express their findings. So I think this tool is very important in current situation. 
I would highly suggest you to learn this and really learn it deeper. So this class is just an introductory class for, for you guys to learn Tableau. But in this time, you guys should go deeper. You guys should learn more about Tableau. There are also whole um, learning modules given by Tableau. You can work on those. You can take exams and become a Tableau developer. That's a whole field. There are jobs out there, a very high paying good jobs who just use Tableau and they, they, they work on it and they get a really good job. Just a Tableau developer can actually get a really good high paying job right now, even at remote. So if someone says to me that remote working or the coronavirus or epidemic has um, totally destroyed job market, well, it's not that true. Maybe it has destroyed many jobs, but it, had, it is also creating jobs at home. I know personally there are a lot of people who are getting hired as data scientists right now just from their homes. They are looking for more and more data scientists because there's so much data being created and they need more people to analyze that. So, so this is this is Tableau and this is your project. So feel free to ask any question. Uh, this is the sample picture here. Uh, this is the same thing exactly like this. This is dynamic. This is just static. This is a picture. And this one is again the additional re reading. So if you want to read more about um, visualizations and this coronavirus, be careful because one of the things you should not portray something or you should not create something which is misleading you sh if you make a whiz like tableau people usually call it a whiz a vi visualization they call it a whiz so if you make a coronavirus whiz make sure it's it has human sight to it it is portraying the right thing it's not tweaked it's not jumbled up it's it's not fake so it's conveying what it is and because a lot of people can see this and if you share it publicly, other people can, uh, can interpret in a different way. So what you make, you should be, it should be authentic, it should be correct. So you can go over this article, it's an, it's an interesting article. That's it for the Tableau project. It will be due on May 3rd. So make sure you submit this before May 3rd. Thank you so much.